Hi besties and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kelly. Hi if you're new. Today I'm so excited to share with you guys my January favorites for 2024. I love sharing these sit down chit chatty videos at the end of every month and sharing with you guys a lot I've been loving. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and join our Prepster family and use the hashtag in the comments. I seriously love connecting with you guys and I think of us all as besties so I'm so happy that you're here and I'm so excited to get into today's video. It is our first favorite video of 2024, which is so crazy. I hope you guys have had a wonderful 2024 so far, and we're only one month in, so we have the whole year ahead of us. But I always start these videos off with my top five songs on Spotify, and my Spotify is just that Kelly Two Wise Tomlinson, in case you guys want to check it out. I've been listening to this playlist. I've been listening to two playlists. The first one is this Five Seconds of Summer mix, and you guys, I have been on a five sauce in one direction like kick lately. The other playlist I've been listening to a lot is called One Direction Hype Songs. It's hysterical but I love this playlist so much. So the five songs I want to share with you guys are Hairline by Harry Styles. Of course Harry Styles has to be included in this. History by One Direction. I love this song so much. It just takes me back in time and like I feel like listening to One Direction makes me so happy. Another One Direction song that I've been listening to is called Cloud. I low-key always forget about this song and then I'm listening to it I'm like what song is this and I love it and then I have two five seconds of summer songs that I want to share with you guys and the first one is don't stop and I think this is like one of their OG songs and it's just so good and I also love the song want you back so those are my five songs that I want to share with you guys they're on both of those playlists in case you guys want to check it out again my Spotify is just at Kelly Two Wise Tomlinson but I also love sharing with you guys of what I've been reading and I didn't do a dedicated book video well I did a book haul but I didn't do like a TBR for this month and I finished reading Powerless you guys. So this was in my book haul. I got this for Christmas. It's by the author Lauren Roberts and I believe this is like a young adult fantasy romance book and you guys it was so good. The end had me on such a cliffhanger. The sequel comes out in I want to say June or July and you best believe I am going to be at Barnes and Noble the day it comes out. I'm so excited. It was so good. I don't want to give any spoilers out but it is a like utopia world and there's what they call ordinaries and elites and the elites have powers and ordinaries don't and it's a little bit like the hunger games but it was just so good it took me like a week after finishing that to pick up a new book so i'm currently reading and i've been trying to read this one for a while is the things we never got over and i've heard wonderful things about this i am 106 pages in it's really cute so far and i like how detailed the writing is and lucy score has a lot of other books so i'm super excited i've just heard so many wonderful things about this book. So that is what I'm reading, but now onto my favorite category, the clothes. So the first piece of clothing that I wanna share with you guys, I didn't pull out, it's currently in our coat closet, but I'll insert a picture over here. It is this gorgeous pink J. Crew coat, and I absolutely love this jacket so much. I got it for when I got married, so you guys, if you watch my I Got Married vlog, you guys might have seen it in that. I think it is just like such an iconic coat, and I love wearing it every single winter. But then I also pulled out three sweaters. The first one is this simple, black and white boxy striped crop sweater. This is from Shein and like whenever I don't know what to wear like have you ever had days where you go to your closet and you're like I have nothing to wear? This is what I always pull. I feel like it looks so cute with anything. I love layering turtlenecks underneath it. I love putting a jacket on top or a vest. It looks great with jeans and leggings. It's just so classic and I feel like you can never go wrong with a black and white striped sweater. Secondly is this gorgeous J. Crew quilted pullover and it's a turtleneck. John's family got this for me for Christmas and I just think it's so cute. It's got the most flattering detail on the bottom. I just think it's so cute. And then my last sweater is one of my favorites. It is my pink cable knit Ralph Lauren sweater. This is so cute, you guys. It's so soft. It's so classy. I love how like simple this sweater is, but I love the bubblegum color of it. Fun fact, I was actually wearing this on my first date with John, and this is 100% cashmere, so it's like, super warm and snuggly, and I just think it's so cute and such an easy way to add a pop of pink or a pop of color into your winter wardrobe. And lastly are my new Mont and Beau jeans. I'm currently wearing a Mont and Beau t-shirt. They're so soft, and I'm 
so excited to be collabing with them. I think this is like my first big collab of 2024, which is so crazy, but they are so cute. These are the Boyfriend Slim jeans and they're a little bit of a straight leg, which I love. They kind of remind me of boot cut. Do you remember those like growing up? And they're so cute. They have a little bit of minimum distressing and they're just such a fun, different color to style in the winter. So I've been loving these. And those are all of my clothing favorites. I do have a few beauty favorites that I want to share with you. I don't know if this is weird sharing my deodorant online, but I just switched over to this Dove deodorant. They sell this at Costco in bulk and it's seriously so much cheaper, but it is like the cucumber smell and I just think it smells really good. I also use the bar soap of this and I love the smell. So I just picked up the e.l.f. Halo Glow Primer and you guys, this is kind of like a foundation, but you can wear it as a primer as well. I am wearing it today as a primer. It kind of gives you a glowy look and I think it's really, really pretty. Now on my new makeup day, sometimes I'll just put this on. It kind of gives you a nice coverage, but not a full coverage. And the next three items are super colorful. So I love, love, love the glossy A birthday lip. I think it's called the balm.com and it's just like a lip gloss and this one is like a clear lip gloss and you guys, it smells and tastes like birthday cake. I love it. Then I also have been loving this Maybelline mascara. I got this from Target this month and it is kind of like a normal mascara, but I really like it. It's been a nice change up. I usually use the L'Oreal Lash Paradise and this has been a nice switch up. And then I think I've talked about this before, but it is the Pixie blush it is like a little deodorant stick but it's a blush and this is in the shade juicy oh my gosh i never thought i'd be an orange blush girly but i absolutely love it it goes on so pretty and it kind of gives you like a summery glow and i really really like that so those are all of my beauty favorites i do have a few accessories that i want to share with you guys and i'm going to be honest a lot of them are shoes but you guys know i am a huge shoe girly it has been snowing and rainy here in ohio so i've been wearing my bean boots these are the eight inch bean boots my parents got these for me for christmas i want to say not last year but the year before and i just think they're so iconic they're so cute and i've been loving these i wear them with sweaters but also like with leggings or jeans or even my new boot cut styled pants from montanville and i'll just like layer them on top i feel like it's just a vintage prep classic look and they're so practical too because your feet don't get wet with the snow i will say if you don't wear warm socks your toes get a little cold but these are so perfect for the winter weather i also wanted to share my new purse so i treated myself and i bought my first ever designer handbag i want to say back in december i think it's so cute but this is by mark jacobs it's in the shade cloud white i love that i can go with anything and it also came with this big strap that you can wear crossbody. It also has like the chain if you want to wear it like on a dinner date. I just think it's such a neutral color, but I didn't have a purse like this and I have been wearing it like crazy. If you guys follow me over on Instagram, which is just that Kelly Prepster, you guys might have seen me style this already. I just think it's so cute and I love it. And then I have two more pairs of shoes to share with you guys. The first one are these New Balance platform sneakers. These are the 574 plus, so they have a platform underneath them. I feel like these are just so classic so cute for running errands they look great with jeans with shorts athletic wear or casual and i just thought they were so cute i got them in like the darker gray color and they have been sold out of seven and a half everywhere near me and i was like i don't know if i want to order them online and i finally found them and of course i had to get them they're so stinking cute and maybe this will just be the year of sneakers for me i also got the white blazers from nike for christmas and these have been low-key so much fun to style and wear so i've been enjoying these as well they're so cute and I love to wear like tall socks that have little designs on them like little flowers and stuff and wear them under my boot cut pants I just think they're so cute but those are all of the accessories that I want to share with you guys I do have a few random favorites I have been loving working on my small business kellyprepsterstudio.com I will have it linked down below along with some of the products and it's been so much fun I wanted to share how fun launch days are if you guys think it'd be fun to get a behind the scenes vlog or like a launch day vlog let me know in the comments down below I get so nervous thinking about filming it because I feel like those days are such an adrenaline rush but I think it would also be a really fun video to film and watch. I also have been watching this show called The Middle. My parents and I used to watch this when it came out and it is so funny but re-watching it as a grown-up is even funnier so I have to share that with you guys. I believe it's on Peacock. It might be on Hulu as well but it's just kind of like a 2010 sitcom. It is so stinking funny but those are all of my favorites and I love finishing off these favorites video with a quote that has been inspiring me in 
and that quote is you are stronger than you think you are and I don't know about you guys I feel like at the beginning of the year and beginning of a new month I feel like I need to hear that because I feel like there's so much pressure to be this whole new person at the beginning of the new year where it's like you really have the whole year to become who you want to be and you're a lot stronger than you think you are you might have a few bad days at the beginning of the year but it doesn't mean that this year is going to be bad so I just wanted to share that as a little reminder because I've been telling myself that a lot lately so hopefully that helps one of you guys but I hope you guys enjoyed this little favorites video I love sitting down and sharing my favorites with you and having these lengthier chit chatty videos so be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you guys like it if you haven't already hit that subscribe button join our Proctor fam and I'll see you guys back here very soon with another new YouTube video bye besties